right, there we go. Hello. Hello, everyone. Wow, well, welcome to Doodle Babble. Doodle Babble, number three. Okay, so today, today, what are we going to draw? What am I going to draw? Well, I had this idea to draw the Eye of David. The Eye of David. The Eye of David. It's this. Okay. It's a sculpture. Well, actually, this one is a plaster copy of a sculpture made by Michelangelo in um, the between 1501 and 1504. So, well, what's the, well? Everybody knows the famous statue that in Italy hmm, of the the famous statue. So, so David, also known from David and Goliath. So this statue, very famous. Kind of like the Mona Lisa of statues, right? And hmm, it took Michelangelo three years to make. And then all these statues, all these, um, there are many copies of the statue and many of different parts of the statue as well. And the eye is the one. I'm going to draw. So it's really kind of interesting to think about that there's an original somewhere, then there's a copy of the original, and then after that there's many plaster copies of different parts. And it's funny, huh? the original copy was, um, is, well the original sculpture is five meters tall, so that's seven feet. It's very big. So actually, the, the f this thing is like bigger than a real person. Hmm. It's cool. So why am I drawing it today? Well, I guess I wanted to tell you a story of how I first saw this statue. And, and I'm drawing with my left hand. This is not my usual hand. It's kind of a struggle to um, get it to do what I wanted to do. I just wanted to share with you guys. If you want to doodle at the same time or try something that you have, that's a little bit weird to do. Oh, why not? I think it's a good idea. Oh, and another thing I want to say about this statue, this eye, is that it's usually used in um, drawing classes, and depends on how. The statue, the piece, oops, how it's um, lit, you can have many different expressions. So from one angle, the eye looks very angry, and another, from another angle, the eye looks very calm. You can think about the battle between David and Goliath, and how David really concentrated so this concentration maybe could look very anguish or maybe it doesn't you know maybe maybe very calm so kind of concentration that's also very calm hmm. so yeah so I was gonna say why did I why why this eye is special to me well I first saw this eye when I was eight years old in China, um, I think I wrote about it in a in a post, medium post. I don't know when, a while ago. Anyways, about drawing. So if you want to check that out, you can. So um, I first saw this when I was eight years old in a drawing class. It was supposed to be. A, I wanted to go take a drawing class of Chinese painting, a Chinese painting class, and there was no more space. So then I, just, I went to this other class where they were having some kind of a test to get in. So I did that, and when I entered this room, there was this gigantic head, gigantic. It's maybe like 
I don't know, at least a meter tall or less, or I think it was uh, three feet. So it was a life size. I didn't know that then, but now I know that it was a life size reproduction of the David sculpture. Maybe even enlarged now I think of it. Anyways, it's this gigantic head. I was so impressed by it. It was so white. And huge. It was, yeah, it was just like all taken out of context and like really weird, right? So, and then this eye, there's like this heart. That's weird, yeah. There's a heart inside the eye. Yeah, right there, the heart. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, so that was the first, not the first drawing class, the first class I took in the quote unquote sketch, so Western methods. It was before I took some art classes, but it was um, Chinese painting. And then, Chinese painting, what I like about it, it's very fast. You start with the brush, you'll be done with the drawing for like, not the drawing, you'll be done with the painting in no time. So, but what's different in this kind of classical Western um, class, sketch class, is that things took forever. So, I remember sitting in this class. Well, actually, I, I wanted to draw the eye, like, right away, but it was not possible because, like, only advanced students get to draw the eye. Like, when, when I first started, they were drawing basic shapes, like cubes, um, cones, and the sphere, that's, like, for super advanced students, too, you know, just don't show up in a class and do, like, spheres. That's really hard to draw, right? A sphere. Same with the egg, like, you think an egg is easy to draw, but actually it really takes a lot of observation. So right now, I mean, it, normally we don't, it's not supposed to, I'm not supposed to draw like this, you're supposed to draw from observation, right? So it would actually have to really observe the physical form of, um, of the statue and see how lighting affects it. And, or anything like that, but well, I don't have an eye sculpture, so there we go. So I'm just gonna take this picture, which is totally different from the experience of drawing um, a real 3D object because your your work as an artist or as a person drawing is to translate what you see from the 3D world into a 2D representation. And here, today, I'm just really just copying the photograph, so really trans transforming the t already the, the 2D representation into another form of the from the photograph to to my drawing so the it's the half of the work is already done like the camera already transformed this is really crazy to think about to transform this copy of a copy of a copy into another thing that I will copy right now so whoa so simulacra simulacras and copies and copies Whew. Talk about intellectual masturbation. Hmm, I think about that and wow. Well, it's kind of what I like to think about, but all right. Maybe nobody else likes to think about it. Why not? So, isn't it amazing that we, like, I'm making a drawing of a copy of a copy of a copy. That's, and it's even like, oh, and the copy is the original itself. It's also an interpretation of the famous story, so, hmm, bam, talk about thinking about stuff up, well, there it is, I think, oh yeah, and also there's maybe like the eyebrow here, sometimes it looks angry, sometimes it doesn't, I think that's pretty much it, right, Oof. left hand tired, I mean, it's not I'm not really happy with it at all, but yeah, whatever. It's a doodle. And also, if I were to do it with my right, I would probably do the lines in the way, in the direction that the physical object is turning. So yeah, so in, like in the in the eye, I'll probably shade like this and not like flat like this, which is kind of. I did here. Oh, 
this amount. Um, yeah, another thing I want to say is, yeah, I remember in this class, so I, so we had these classes that last, I went there every week, once a week for two, or two, three hours, I don't even remember. And each drawing would take like, I don't know, two, three months to finish. Whew. Of course, for somebody as impatient as me, that's like total torture. But I guess what I learned was that so that I have to be patient, I have to observe some of the really boring things. It's maybe not so boring after all. Boy. Okay, there we go. Mm. Well, here's that picture. You can see that it looks nothing like it. But that's not the point. The point is to do something. And also, my point is to talk about it, to try to talk about it, since I see that it's not very hard. Or very, it's, well, it is very hard, but actually. I can't even talk straight. Whoa. Seems like I can only, when I draw, I can't really talk at the same time. But of course it. All right, and another thing I wanted to try today is to, uh, the pencil that I was using, it's a um, watercolor pencil, so. When you finish, when I finish with it, I could like pass, put some water on it so the colors would bleed a little bit. Which would make it a little bit darker at some places. Yeah, I wanted to try that to see what it, what it can do. So I'm not sure, I never do. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's... Uh, Thing. Well, I don't know what I did. Well, I'm not really happy with it, but not the first time doing this on the Eye of David with the left hand. Oh, we'll see. Okay, why not? There we go. Well, thanks for watching. And thanks for doodling with me. Alright, bye bye.